Let's check out what Emacs just sent me. It's Tiny Hoop season and Emacs just sent me this new quad they're calling the Tiny Hawk. Wait, what is this? Man, I was so excited to get this. They sent me a messed up one. They put the motors on upside down. Oh wait, that's the way it's supposed to be. This is the Tiny Hawk from Emacs. Look at this thing. The motors are mounted upside down. I'm curious to see how it flies. Let's just go over the specs real quick. This is a 1S Whoop. It's a 76 millimeter frame using a polypropylene frame. It weighs 29 grams without the battery and then 42 grams with this, with the Emacs 450 milliamp uh, 1S battery. It runs on these 8 by 25 millimeter 15,000 kV brushless motors. It's got these new 40 millimeter tri-blades that are specifically designed for this quad. The flight controller used in the Tiny Hawk is a F405 processor with Betaflight OSD and it's got a 4-in-1 3 amp ESC running BL Heli S. The VTX is a 25 milliwatt 37 channel VTX with smart audio and it comes with a 600 TVL CMOS camera. All the Tiny Hoop style quads that I've seen are true X, but this one is a stretched X. It uses a lightweight polypropylene material that looks super beefy and weighs more than the 29 grams. But if you look at the bottom, it's kind of hollowed out. It feels much more high quality than the typical Tiny Hoop frames that I've seen. The most interesting part of the Tiny Hoop are the motors. They're mounted upside down. I'm curious to see how it flies any different. And look at this prop. The prop covers the entire bell. From a design point, that's really smart because it eliminates the weak point with traditional props where the blade connects to the hub. Having the bell Having the prop cover the entire bell, you have so much more surface area that's connecting the hub to the prop. Emacs was so confident in this prop that they didn't even include extras in their kit. So let's take this apart and have a look inside. Looks like it's only held on by four tiny Phillips head screws on the bottom. First, I'm gonna unplug the motor so we can get the whole board out. So once you unplug the motor, you should be able to just pull out this whole board. The Emacs Tiny Hawk uses a custom F4 flight controller with the three amp four and one ESC. And the version I got is, had a built-in FR Sky receiver on a all-in-one board. The VTX looks like it's soldered onto the main board with these four little connectors right here. And the camera is attached by a wire and not soldered on directly onto the VTX like most tiny hoops are. This VTX does have smart audio, so you can change the channel and band via the OSD, but there's a button right here if you want to change it the old school way. What's interesting is that even though this Tiny Hawk came as a ready to fly, there are pads all over this all in one to where you can connect your own things. Like there's a little place right here where you can connect a a receiver and then there's a buzzer pad and then on the motors, it's got motor pads right here. I only had one battery for the Tiny Hawk, so I didn't get to fly it a lot. But if the conditions are right, it can be easily flown outdoors. It was pretty windy today, so I had to find a place with some trees. But even with like a 10, 10 mile per hour breeze, you can still fly this outside. The first few batteries that I flew on the Tiny Hawk, I didn't really like it. But that's because I was trying to fly it like a Tiny Whoop. The Emacs Tiny Hawk is a brushless Whoop. It's not a tiny 65 millimeter brushed Hoop. Once you fly it like a brushless hoop that's got some power, this thing is so much fun. It's easily got enough power to fly in acro mode, and it can even do simple flips and rolls even inside a garage. One thing I can say about the tiny hoop that it is tough. I just got back from flying this thing in the garage and I was bouncing it off concrete countless times and it still looks brand new. Not a single issue. I think that's one of the biggest drawbacks of the other brushless hoops that I've tried, that they're very fragile. Any little bump or anything will knock a VTX out of place or you'll kill a camera, prop will fall off or bell will fall off. But this thing can take a beating, man. The Tiny Hawk will retail for $99 and it comes with the Tiny Hawk comes with a carrying case and inside the carrying case you co it comes with a multi-port uh, charger and a little bag of spares and it comes with one um, 450 1s battery and i was told that they're gonna have a 
a kit version where it comes with goggles and um, a transmitter. So would I recommend the Tiny Hawk? Yes! This thing is so much fun and it is so tough. Once you get over the fact that it's a brushless whoop and not a brush whoop, meaning you learn how to use a power, this thing is so much fun because you can fly it like a regular quad. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!